they have to learn a new personal truth. They have to sit with it again. And to me, that is just such a great life analogy because I go through that. I am the superhero of my own life story. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that there isn't something that comes up in life that sets me back on my heels and makes me go, wait a second, I never thought that I would encounter this. But now I'm up against it. And I have to figure out what I stand for face to face with this. Mm. Who am I? What is my personal truth now that this is in my reality? And when we can begin to look at ourselves, whatever your version of that is, like for us, it's that, right? Mm. But whatever your version of that is, we like to think of, you know, our Suivera, the organization we have, is kind of our own little shield, right? <laughs> Nick Fury, we're out there creating and supporting, helping individuals. We create these tools, right, that help the superheroes that we're empowering to go out and be the superheroes of love, mm -hmm. sharing and invoking love in others so that we can all become the superheroes of our own life story. Hey, Heart Leader community, we are so excited. The Silence Your Inner Critic Immersive Retreat is open for early registration. Click the link below to learn more and secure your spot today. But if that doesn't fit or resonate with other individuals, that helps us every day get out of bed and be excited to do what we do. So much so. But find what does that for you. What gets you excited about your personal truth every day? about going on that inward journey. And when you come up against something in life, whatever that f you feel like a foe is, how do you turn that inward again and say, now that I'm up against that, how am I going to learn about myself? Mm -hmm. Instead of turning it outward and going, oh, it's their fault, mm -hmm. which hits that personal responsibility. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, friction is key. It really is. Just because... If you, if you see individuals who appear to have internal harmony or, hey, for really clear, like someone who looks like they have their stuff together, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're not lacking friction. Yeah, no. They're not lacking, like they're probably, the only difference between you and them is that they're embracing it, is that they are willing to move through it and, and that's such a great reminder that we, we often need this friction to understand who we are. And we get the opportunity in every now moment to uh, reinforce who we are. Yes. And I love, as you beautifully said, not, every, not any one choice is uh, the definition of who we are. However, when we do have a continuity of choice, and we keep choosing the same thing, that, that does create a, a definition in some way. Now, it's not finite. It's not limited. We, at any point, we can say, nope, we no longer want to be that way. I know I spent years choosing who I wasn't. And so, you know, I've, I've been there. And it made me sad. And it made me uh, feel less than and unworthy. But it's, it's hard. But I wasn't, I, I wasn't willing to meet the friction. I wasn't willing to meet myself at the potential that I felt like I could be. And until I made that choice and then continued to choose that again and again and again and again, then the version of me who I didn't enjoy felt like long in the past. It feels like a completely different life that I can't even like, now I can't even, I'm looking back in 10, 10 years ago and I'm like, I, I don't even remember that version of me. It's so far behind. And so, and it's because that willingness to embrace that friction of being willing to say, you know, who am I in this moment? Who am I in this choice? Am I still in alignment? And if I'm not, that's okay. That's okay. This one little thing that I do doesn't, you know, ruin the whole thing. It's, 
you know, how can it make me even that much better? And my dips down are just a lot less, <laughs> a lot less uh, intense. Let's just say they're like little, little dips, and then they it's come not back. like a yo-yo. Yeah, it's not like a yo-yo. <laughs> exactly, exactly like it used to be, right? Yeah. And so that's that's so important. It's in self-discovery. I feel. 